Steampunk is a fusion of history plus art plus technology. It's reimagining if the Victorian period or the Industrial Age happened at the same time as our modern age, our computer age, as if the computer was invented, you know, 100 years before it actually was. Could you explain more about ModVic and Steampunk? ModVic uh, is a business I started in 2007, and it's actually the combination of modern and Victorian. It's, it's bringing these, these two opposites together. And uh, at first it started out as a Victorian home restoration company, but now uh, it's pivoted to more uh, of an art and design company where I repurpose objects connecting the, the past with the present, with the future. One thing I researched about you is that um, your company started in 2007, and um, I always wondered where did you get that inspiration um, to create uh, your company at that time? Well, I kind of say um, steampunk found me. I, I didn't find steampunk. Okay. Um, I've always loved uh, antiques and architecture and gadgetry. Actually, one of my uh, inspirations is the um, 1960s uh, TV series called Wild Wild West mm -hmm. with James West. And uh, uh, I used to watch the show actually with my father. And, and basically, that was like pre-steampunk uh, in a way. Uh, it was. Uh, it's like James Bond in the Victorian period uh, and, and with the beautiful kind of Victorian aesthetic but uh, all this uh, uh, technology and gadgetry. So um, I, uh, I have, I've always um, enjoyed uh, really design and working with um, uh, period objects but it wasn't until uh, really in um, 2000 where we moved to our, our present house in Sharon, Massachusetts, uh, 1901 Victorian Craftsman, and we started to bring antiques and period objects into the house, but instead of having them sit there like, you know, uh, like a museum where you just see the object, we started to creatively, you know, try to come up with I ideas on how to take the technology that we had in the house, in the kitchen, in the home theater, in the office, and then integrate it uh, into the period objects. Since you're in the art and design field, um, where do you see the, the biggest trend or changes that will happen in the next five to ten years? Yeah. I recently uh, did a steampunk art exhibition at the Springfield Museums in Springfield, Mass. And uh, the, the, the signature exhibition was called Hue Machines. And Hue Machines are these anthropomorphic uh, functional sculptures of iconic inventors and authors of the Victorian period. So people like H.G. Wells, Jules Verne, uh, Edison Tesla. And uh, we actually created them uh, where uh, they become the machines that they either wrote about or created. So H.G. Wells actually becomes a physical time machine. And he's made up of repurposed parts and pieces that actually existed when he was alive and that were relevant, would be relevant to him, you know, clock pieces and so, um, so I'm kind of into, you know, cyborgs and, you know, man and machine type of, of things. So I think in the next uh, 15 to 20 years, they will be working cyborgs, me and you. What do you do for spare time uh, when you're not doing Modvik and, and steampunk? I kind of live uh, steampunk. I'm always thinking about kind of the next thing and uh, it's become kind of a, an OCD thing for me in some ways because I get into this mind space where I'm looking at something and thinking about you know what it can be and so I'm either constantly working in my workshop or I'm working with other artists and uh, craftsmen and so um, I don't have a lot of spare time and I think when I do have spare time I'm watching reruns of Wild Wild West.